The power formula wheel, we talked about like the Ohm's law wheel, put your finger over the one and then cover one, then the other two are multiply or get a formula wheel and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on how to use this. It's just knowing the right formula based upon the right question, having the knowledge that you know. What formulas have we worked with? Ohm's law and, and Watt's law, that's it? That's it. So that's we only so have six formulas so far that we have to work with. Are you looking for I, E, R? I mean, what are you looking for? What do you have? All right, let's just take a look at uh, an example of a power formula circle. Here is the wheel. And if I'm looking for the intensity of the circuit, and I know power and voltage, see, so you'd have to know what it, the ohms are, the ohms are. So what is the power? Okay, well, this is a 7.5, ooh, kW, which is 1,000, 7,500 watts of a load. And it's rated 230 volts, and it's connected to 230 volts. And the formula is I is equal to P over E, so we take the 7.5, make it you know times a thousand, 7,500 watts. We know the voltage is given as 230, and it's applied 230. So I is equal to P over E comes out to be 32.61. I mean that's just what the number comes out to be. It's that's all we have to do here. You know, right now, just relax. You know, there's some things that concept. This is just like okay, kind of practice, and you're going to get a lot of questions. Here's another one. All right, we're looking for what's the power of the circuit? Well, the power is equal to the intensity times the electromotive force. Well, the intensity is the amperes. It was given as 24 amperes times the EMF. Um, power is equal to I. They're okay, looking I'd for have the, to know what the question they're is. They're looking for the power lost in the wires. I'm looking for the total power. Voltage drop of the wire is this looking again. I, I kind of put the graphic and I, I didn't put the question, so therefore I kind of like messed it up here. Okay, so we're looking for the power loss of the wire. See, remember, wire has resistance. Well, if wire has resistance, then wire is going to have voltage drop. And if it has voltage drop and it has resistance, that means that you're heating up the wire. People don't realize that, that, you know, everything. Tom, you talked about it. You, Eric, you talked about that. Well, your LEDs, well, you have heat that we're. We're inducing to be able to make the transformation for whatever we're doing. Well, now you got the heat goes inside. It's part of the deal. Well, now you got to get it heat out. Well, you got wires running out to loads. Wires have resistance. Wire carries current. You know, wire has power losses. So we need to know about power losses of wire. So here's an example. Well, I want to know what the power loss is of uh, this wire. If I know that it has a 7.2 volt drop and it's drawing 24 amperes, again, these are all given. Well, the wire itself, the two wires, are losing 172 watts, almost 173 watts of power uh, per hour. And now if you do that times 10 hours, that's, uh, what's 172? It's what, 1,700 watts. So 1.7 kilowatts. We can convert kilowatts. to 1,700 watts is 1 1.7. Basically, we can round it up to 2 kilowatts. Yep, about a quarter. About 25 cents. Yeah, and, then, and if you're paying 13 cents a kilowatt per day and you're only running it for 10 hours, it, you're saying 13, it's going to be about 25 cents a day just to heat those two wires by the, not the whole building, just those two wires, 25 cents a day times uh, 30, what's that come out to be? Three times, you know, $7.50, basically round off to about eight bucks a month just to heat up those two wires. So these are things that we just, just be aware of, I'm trying to put it in practical terms, that there are losses. And here's an example, figure out what is the power losses on these wires that are carrying current and then having resistance and resulting in voltage drop.